Virginia is taking its immigration Crazy. fight to the next level. Lawmakers are proposing that illegal immigrants be banned from attending any state university or college. Some say that this will make the immigration problem worse. Joining us now for a fair and balanced debate is the Virginia uh, former federal prosecutor Michael Wilds. He's also a former mayor and we'll start with you Mr. Wilds. Uh, thousands of students around the world they put in for uh, work visas to go to our colleges here in the United States. It's a long list. It's not an easy process. Why should those here illegally skip right to the front of the line? You have about um, 16 million people in this country that are here unlawfully. Many children, but for the grace of their parents and God, were born to undocumented individuals and didn't purposefully come here. We have 7,000 immigration agents, 200 immigration judges. We're not going to remove these individuals. And the question fundamentally is, do we want them, if they can afford on their own to pay into a school system, to be educated? Or do we want them to then lay fallow? Do we want to have a school system that's going to look at people because of their ethnicity or because of their academic achievements? And as we sit here today, people who are undocumented are buying juice, paying tolls, participating in commerce. And it's unconscionable that a country, albeit based on a nation of immigrants, would turn its back on children. It's one thing if we're going to say the parents did okay. something wrong. It's another thing with the children. All right, let's bring in the Virginia delegate who supports this measure, Jackson Miller. Good morning to you, sir. Uh, the, the suggestion that these people aren't here, uh, it's not their fault that they're here illegally. Their parents brought them here. They just want to contribute, just want to be educated. Why should we not allow them in the state university system? Well, the, 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 the former mayor mentioned that, you know, by the grace of God, their, their parents brought them here to this country, and why shouldn't they be able to go to our universities? I, I think they should be very grateful that, in many cases, the, the Plyler v. Stowe decision has forced us to allow them to have a free K-12 through education, which is probably a much better education than they ever would have gotten back in their home countries. So I think we're already forced um, by the federal courts to provide them a very good education. And higher education is a privilege. It's not a right. And legal immigrants and citizens of the Commonwealth of Virginia deserve to have those slots in our, in our universities and colleges here in, in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Michael, should they go through this the same way other students around the world have to apply for a student work uh, student visa? And are they getting more than they should, as he said, getting K-12 through free education in this country, even though they're here illegally? Ostensibly, everybody should go for permission to come to this country, and we have a broken immigration system that needs to be fixed. And by no means are we fixing it by allowing them into school. The thing is, we do not want children or kids to then stop their education at 12th grade and not be educated. We have that in a lot of countries through the world. We have an uneducated electorate or group of individuals who then do not contribute back to the society. And, and, and that's the point I want to bring in Jackson on real quickly before we go. So what if these people don't end up with the college education? What are you helping in the long run? Because we're not removing them. First of all, again, College education in the Commonwealth of Virginia is a privilege. It's not an inherent right. I would tell them to go back to their home country, get an education there, or go to their embassy here in the United States. But they're not get leaving, the proper, sir. They're not get leaving, the, get, so what do we do? Then don't leave. Then go to the embassies here in the United States and get the proper documents. Get All right, the proper student visa. Wilds, get, the proper, get the proper work visa. Mike, and Wilds, then become Jackson a legal Miller. immigrant here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Thank you both for being here. I'm sure we'll debate it in the commercial break. Coming up.